Hello, my name is Stephen Ronsberg, and this is Telehealth and Telemedicine, Past, Present, Future of the Technology and Applications of Public Health and Clinical Service. The objective of this presentation at the end, you should have a good understanding and ability to be able to explain the differences between telehealth and telemedicine, as well as to summarize the current state of telehealth in medical practices and describe clinical, public health, and educational applications for telehealth and telemedicine. Telemedicine, the term was coined in the 1970s. It really means the healing at a distance. 2007 study was conducted on telemedicine looking at definitions. They found well over 100 different definitions, although we are now generally accepting uh, the World Health Organization's definition. The delivery of health care services where distance is a critical factor by all healthcare professionals using information and communication technologies for the exchange of valid information for diagnosis, treatment and prevention of diseases and injuries, research and evaluation, and for the continued education of health care providers all in the interest of advancing the health of individuals and their communities. There are four really germane elements, if you will, of telemedicine. Um, your main purpose is to provide clinical support, okay, that service. The intent to overcome, we're looking at geographic barriers, distances, uh, rural to uh, 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 underserved areas and getting information out there and getting services out there. Uh, the second one there is connecting users who are not in the same physical location. Um, the third one talks about involving the use of various types of information communication technologies. It could be internet, wired, wireless, and other communication mediums. You're providing access to information. And the fourth one on there is the goal, which is to improve the overall health outcomes of patients. <clears throat> so HRSA has a definition of telehealth. We had a definition of telemedicine by the World Health Organization. Here's telehealth. Telehealth is kind of like that umbrella and telemedicine kind of fits underneath that in there. So Hearst's definition of telehealth is the use of electronic information and telecommunication technologies to support long distance clinical health care, patient and professional health related education, public health and health administration. So as you see, it encompasses quite a bit more. Telemedicine refers specifically to that, those clinical services, those remote clinical services. Telehealth, much broader scope. Those remote healthcare services, thus telemedicine, but also those non-clinical services, such as providing training, administrative uh, meetings, administration, um, CMEs, you know, you know, those credit continuing med medical education credits. Um, telemedicine is really restricting services delivered by a physician only, if we can put in those parameters. Telehealth, you know, having those services, but providing, uh, um, you know, that are provided by other health professionals as well in general, uh, including nurses, pharmacists, uh, and others. Telemonitoring. Um, you're monitoring patients uh, uh, from a distance, exactly as it sounds. So it's the process of using audio, video, and other telecommunication, electronic information processing technologies to monitor the health status of a patient from a distance. Terminology, terminology, terminology. Let's try not to get too bogged down with that terminology. Um, telehealth, telecare, telemonitoring, telenursing, um, telehome care. Um, telehome care is, is really, you know, caring for the patient as home as, as you can 
decipher by the name. <laughs> um, it's really the use of communication technologies together with remote measurement and monitoring devices to evaluate specific health parameters of these outpatients that are in the home. Um, and using that information to be able to provide feedback on their condition. Uh, more precisely, telehome care, a form of telemedicine, uh, you know, for that patient at their home specifically. And communication and clinical information systems really enable that to happen, such as voice, video, health-related data. Typical equipment can include your regular telephone, uh, your cell phone, smartphone, regular computer, wireless devices, uh, video camera, physiological monitoring equipment such as blood glucose monitor, stethoscope, blood pressure cuff, scale, um, even uh, thermometers as well. <clears throat> Pioneer in telemedicine, uh, the inventor of the EKG, and that would be Dr. Willem Eithenben. Uh, who way back in 1906 uh, actually sent it over a telephone line. If you take a look at that uh, uh, machinery that he has there in front of him, is quite bulky and big as compared to what we think of uh, with an EKG today. Um, but wow, um, it's well over 100 years ago. And here we have uh, another picture. Uh, just around 100, not quite, uh, but it's a covered article on telecare in a magazine called Radio News in 1924 in the state-of-the-art telemedicine unit. If you look at that unit that they have there, they have audio, video, they're getting a printout on data right there of the patient, and right next to it, you see a workstation on wheels, which is a bit smaller, a bit more mobile, um, Quite a bit powerful than, than uh, that rendition there, but wow, um, to be able to come up with that idea back then and the abilities that uh, could actually be done, uh, that forward thinking. Some of your earlier technologies used to collect data, vital signs, monitoring devices. If you look at those pictures, they're quite bulky. They're tethered with wires uh, all over the place. Uh, uh, it was pretty much a standard of care for the last two or three decades, as we have. There's, you can break it into invasive and non-invasive. You know, invasive with your pacemakers, um, uh, your advanced cardiac uh, monitoring uh, as well there um, in the form of automated um, implantable cardial uh, vertical uh, defibrillators as well. Uh, here's where your non-invasives with, with your, your ambulatory cardiac monitors in there. And what they had two to four leads, those are wires, and uh, you're collecting data pretty much 24-7 over a 30-day period. You're storing that information. You're forwarding it and storing it and retrieving it um, pretty much at will. There we go. A quick look at the literature. Uh, there's been quite a bit of uh, literature written on the area of telehealth, telemedicine, if you will. Uh, a large bulk of that between 1996 and 2013 uh, really focused on telehome care, uh, believe it or not. And uh, obviously with those chronic diseases, uh, chronic heart failure, uh, chronic obstructive uh, pulmonary disease, diabetes, it was all part of that. Um, it really was looking at sustainability and you know the acceptability of these services, the commitment of these organizations to invest in them, um, the use, the demand for them as well. Okay. Um, Kind of to summarize, if you will, the sustainability of telemedicine, uh, it's really um, home care perceptions of effectiveness of, of how it's being used is very important. Uh, the clinical and behavioral outcomes, how much is it really tailored to that patient center focus, if you will, those factors. Um, 
practicing with that equipment as well is, is critical and important. It is a baked into the culture of the organization. Um, and here it talks a little bit about home health agencies uh, where you see some of that in there. It's been there for quite some time. Quality of, uh, um, of the technology as well. Uh, you know, what are the limits of the barriers? You know, what can I collect? So we see some of the present technology. If you look at the picture on the bottom there, much more, much smaller, less tethered, if you will. Um, you're looking at uh, very small devices as compared to where they were before. Um, obviously much more robust uh, and much more sensitive at capturing data, more data, much more easy to use, electrocardiogram, echocardiogram, heart rate variabilities. Um, so you're able to capture much, much more. Some other pictures of some other uh, technologies on the bottom there, uh, kind of in the center, you see the smart shirt, uh, which is pretty interesting, gathers quite a bit of data, uh, vital signs on the patient, um, everything from uh, you know, cardiac, respiratory breathing, sleep, even heart rate, even steps. Um, you know, we start thinking of uh, our Fitbit and our, our, our smart watches being able to do that and get feedback to us as well, and our smart scales as well. Okay, thank you very much, and uh, the next presenter will take it from here. Thank you.